drop that. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, you lay back in the cut. What's up? What's up? From Alpha to Omega, VHS to Beta, PlayStation to Sega, my skill is still greater. The sickest thing since BD, wicked like VG. Live my life crooked like the left finger on ET. Please believe me, this be the realest thing I ever wrote. Right after talking to Pop, puffing on heavy smoke. Laugh now, cry later. My only dream in life was to rock a mic in front of you spectators. How you doing, Calvin? Yes, Ricky. You right, yeah? Yeah, I'm cool, man. Good, good. So, Calvin's Car Diaries, Cal finally doing a collaboration. Calvin's Car Diaries, yeah, we're, from finally, we're finally doing it, Ricky. It's been how long? A couple of years now? It's been now? a couple of years now. We've been, uh, we just keep talking about it. I suppose there's a bit of a distance between yeah, me and you. Exactly. So, and we're both busy. Mm. We're finally doing it. So, we're today we're going to be driving, what is this, a car that you're you've bought so, so it's a 7.5 golf R. so another side of me is i've got a, a car buying company so we basically focus on buying cars and certain that's how the whole cabin's car diary thing yeah. come about so certain cars i choose to do videos on and ricky this this car got ricky's attention he's like how <laughs> i want that car on my channel yeah, so yeah. um it's the car that we've got in stock at the minute it's a mark 7.5 golf r yeah. and as you can see it's in tornado red it's a yeah. nice color beautiful man it's like, lovely isn't it yeah i'm not a huge fan of red yeah but when this car came in, like on paper, I thought, oh no, red. I don't know if I'm excited about this car. But when it came in and I looked at it, like we'll go for a little walk around the car, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Fine. When you look at this car, like the Mark 7.5 Golf R, obviously it's an attractive car. Everyone yeah, knows definitely. That. I suppose everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but in my eyes, it's an attractive car. But red looks amazing. It's such a it, nice It really colour. does, yeah. I mean, some people say red's not even a colour, don't they? Like, yeah, I know. some real some like really... racism towards red. Like, I know, people just rule it out, don't yeah. they? Ooh, there's a skyline over there. What are the differences then? So obviously, we've got facelifted lights. So what are these, like LED headlights now? Yeah, LED headlights have just got a better look to them than the yeah. earlier ones. It's almost like a black edition, isn't it? Yeah, like, it literally is. Yeah, 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 it is. And then side skirts down here as well. They're finished with a blo uh, gloss black as well. Gloss black side skirts. You've got the Pedroza alloys. Are they, alloys. I think they're still an upgrade, possibly. Rear bumper's slightly different. I think like the, the indicators here, the, yeah, the, sorry, the, refle right, yeah. the reflectors here are a little bit different. The lights have been facelifted as well, so they got like a... Well, I think they were tinted before, but the lights are different as well. Slightly like different this. image. Um, and I was going to say, Golf R's standard, they've got four four exhausts coming out yeah. the back, which is the... Quad exhaust. It's a cool touch, Brings back my memories of my review, man. I think the brakes are the same off of the Performance Pack Golf GTIs. And, right. and, uh, yeah, and then also it. the interior has got some massive updates, hasn't it? The seats are a little different, so if some of you remember the uh, stock seats from the previous gen Golf R, uh, there was like a white on the side. Uh, now you've got like a um, Alcantara, looks a lot better quality than before. A lot of people say they don't like leather because it's like hot. <laughs> E63 there. It's uh, leather's hot in the summer, cold in the winter, and blah blah. But personally, I would prefer to have leather. Um, it's got heated seats. It's got. Um, the, I'm thinking the key factor when you jump in the driver's seat, you've got this virtual display, which is yeah. like 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 the uh, Audi R8 Audi, and stuff. Yeah. All the late Audis have now got it in there, yeah. and I think on a Golf. That is like a surprising extra, isn't it? It so closes look, the gap as well, doesn't it, between the Audi and the Golf, I think. It literally does, yeah. Because this looks amazing. I mean, the Golf R's have got nice interiors anyway, but this is like another level. Sick. And what, the infotainment system's touchscreen as well? Yeah, so all this is touchscreen. It's so impressive, isn't it? And all this is standard yeah, as well. Right, so it's beautiful, man. Yeah, and this is just... This what, is how a Golf R comes now, like a Mark wow. 7.5 Golf R comes like this. One thing I haven't mentioned um, is this car is actually running a bit more power as well, isn't it? Yeah, so the, like 10 BHP the Mark 7.5s are 310 brake, whereas the older ones I think are 300 brake. So yeah. an extra 10 brake horsepower, that's all right. Yeah, I think that we're just taking a spin, man, because obviously we are kind of reviewing the car, but we want to sort of go for a drive. We're just well. doing it for a little bit of yeah, fun, yeah, a little bit yeah. of a drive out, but... So we'll we take it for a drive then, yeah? Yeah, we'll go for a little drive, yeah? Yeah, come. Drop that. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, the funk, uh, yeah, the What's up? What's up? From yes, Ricky, where should we start? Where should we start? Um, I don't know where to start. I think when you jump into the drive seat, well, how do you feel? This is your first experience, isn't it? In a, yeah, 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 so it's obviously um, brand spanking new, right? Yeah, so it's um, actually a few months old. Yeah, I mean, Steering very wheels. familiar, very familiar. Uh, definitely a much more premium feel inside this cabin. I'm um, loving this infotainment system and this digital dash. Yeah, yeah, it really does separate it from the previous gen Golf. 
uh, visually with my eyes. Even this steering wheel, you've got this weird little pattern on the wheel that's a little bit different. I think these gloss inserts on the wheel, yeah. I think that was on the previous gen, not too sure. I can feel straight away, everything feels really on point, like really responsive. Like, I mean, what's that? Five ten percent throttle, and you can feel it down gear. Yeah, yeah. You know, like in the uh, in my E92, it's a lot of much much older car, but you really have to flatten the throttle to get it to change to get the gear. power out of it. Yeah. yeah. This is like one little tap, and it's down gearing. Yeah. Everything's really responsive. I don't know if it's the road service, but it's, it's very rigid. Doesn't yeah, it's it? exactly that's the exact yeah. word I was about to, about to use. It feels like a bit very like rigid. a bit of Subaru. Like. Somewhere there's like a, a sound enhancer. Yeah, that's right. Within yeah. the car, yeah. so. You can hear a bit of a burble, like, like a V80 sound. Yeah, when you let off and stuff, it's it's really subtle. To me, that feels a bit gimmicky. Oh, gee, that pulls, doesn't it? It pulls well, but all about? It, it does give it a good feel, doesn't it? It's nice. It's weird because I went in a '66 plate, I think Golf R recently, not facelift like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think they may have put more power in it, but I noticed it felt really quick. Do you know what, I, wow, think it's nice, I think it's shocking, you think of a Volkswagen Golf, yeah? It's shocking that they're 300, well this one's 310 brake horsepower. Like, that's a serious amount of power. Wow, that sounds nice. Sounds man. nice, doesn't it? Yeah, sorry man. It's, it's a serious amount of power though, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. The Mark 7.5 is, um, what is going to give it something? Wow, Mark, it really pulls after the gear, doesn't it's it? It's nice, like, isn't it? Isn't it feels it's more nice than 310, you know that? It's nice power yeah. delivery, isn't it? Yeah. So... Love that sound, didn't ya? Oh yeah, man. Little fart between gears as well. That's yeah, a nice touch, yeah. isn't it? You know, what? every time I get back into a Golf Four, I absolutely love it. You know that? They, they are a good all rounder, they are, aren't they? Man, they are. They're just, just the whole overall quality of the car. Yeah. Um, they do tick a lot. Even boxes. the steering, it's nice and weighty. Mm. Uh, I did drive an S3 uh, for probably about 10, 15 minutes, and it just doesn't feel like this. And obviously there's a lot of tests on the internet. I think this is the more driver focused of, of the two when you compare it to the S3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S3 is normally a bit more comfortable, isn't it? A bit more yeah, premium. Yeah, the Audi build is yeah, going to be yeah. a little bit more quality. Yeah. Wow, man. Isn't they such an easy car to drive though, isn't it? That's the best thing about these cars, I think. Like the whole sports hatch thing is a nice thing to drive in general, but when you've got 300 brake, DSG gearbox, it is a good mix. It's a four wheel drive as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly rate these cars highly. I Everybody rate them. knows it as well. Um, and every time I get back, I sit there after and think, oh, you know, because you've got this thing about golf. It's not that they're not good at handling cars, but I think balance wise, I don't think they've always been a very balanced car. This car is so well balanced. Yeah, it literally is. Like, if you drive the arse of this car, this car you can sort of stay in control. You know your GTR. Yeah. yeah. How balanced and like. Yeah. When you get into situations, it's controllable. This yeah. This car's the same. It's it really fills you with confidence, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't believe how quick this feels. Wow. For a standard car like that is just quality, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you want. If you think someone just someone who's not really too into cars, just wants a daily run around, they walk into VW, they buy a Volkswagen Golf and they go for the R because it's the top of the range one. Mm. And they come out of a car like this, it's like, it's a serious car, isn't it? No, it really is, man. Anyone who's about to buy a brand new Golf R, like, in my opinion, I recommend you just write down numbers on paper because you're definitely, definitely better off leasing one. One thing as well people need to realise is that um, the price, when you see a really good lease deal, um, normally it's how the car is in stock form as soon as you start specking it up mm. that whole deal and that offer is just pointless and the reason I got the Golf R I'll be honest with you obviously I loved the overall package the reason was its price point but yeah, the, the reason was because of its price the, the price the deals that they the, were offering the lease it was, was under was... £200 a month really it was under £200 that's a month that's what I'm but talking I about I spec'd it to 550 oh right I spec'd it to 550 a month so it's like at 550, I could have got anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you've got to think about it like the Golf R, it may have the most value, or the M135, for example, M140, maybe good value for money. But when you look at an A45, it comes with a lot more standard equipment. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not so, saying that as a fact, but I'm just trying to say with some cars, some cars they come with more factory options. So the price point is higher from factory, but. So I think the underlining point is if you're going to get a new car regardless, watch out for spending money on spec. Yeah, and watch out when you start specking it, definitely. One thing I'm really noticing is this car definitely feels quicker than the previous gen car. Everything just feels a lot more responsive. I feel like, look, we're in, uh, what gear are we in? We're in fifth gear. 
and you can feel the turbos kicking in. It's picking up. And it's well. only 310 bh. It's not a massive amount of power. The previous gen felt a little more naturally aspirated. This one feels a bit more obvious, obviously turbocharged. Maybe they noticed that as a point. Maybe they noticed that when they when yeah. they built the previous it one. It feels more turbo. That's the, that's what it is. Yeah, right? it feels a lot more torquey, doesn't it? And it's surprisingly, yeah, like you can be in quite a high gear, and it really does pull. Hundred percent, people. Yeah, this car is a lot quicker. I know it's only ten bhp, but it really feels quicker. Yeah, like, this wheel, man, it's so nice. I can't. Nice it's room. a nice weight, like you know. It doesn't feel very Audi or Volkswagen, like. Yeah, um, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's like a proper nice. It's got a nice heavy feel to it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like a solid. Solid, car. It's yeah. Solid on the road. I agree. Um, it doesn't, you ain't got that light feathery feel uh, when cornering. You know what, with these seats, I don't know if they are um, factory like this, but this was a, this is a massive upgrade, you know that? What, the, those, to the older ones? Yeah, yeah, the older seats with the white, they look so cheap. Yeah, they look I so agree cheap. With Remind that. me of the seats in the Megane Cup. They're just, uh, I mean, they're still supportive, um, the previous ones, but they just look horrible, man. I've yeah. noticed with DSG sometimes, like DSGs and Tronics, there's it kind of pauses sometimes as you go up a gear. So if you're hammering it, you hit the rev limiter, go into the next gear, like from second to third. There's sometimes a little pause, but this don't do that. But mm. like I've noticed that's been a bit of an annoyance with earlier DSG yeah. gearboxes. I don't yeah. know if you've ever noticed. Yeah, that no, one. I have. Yeah, and it's a little bit annoying, um, but. It was a real it. like exaggerated V8 um, exhaust tone that this this car give. What was? Okay, there's no sound. So now, that's right? comfort, yeah. That's comfort, yeah. So I switch from comfort to race mode. Now drop a second. It, it, okay. So there's a so like been deeper so what, sound. Have we been driving in individual? Or We've like, been yeah. We're just driving it in individual, which I don't okay, know how so that's set up. Okay, so you've got the sound. Yeah, the sound yeah, yeah. Must be set up. Okay. But so, so now we're in race mode. It's it's kind of. Deadening to your ears, isn't it? A little bit. Sounds. It sounds better than. Um, wow, this is really good. You know that. <laughs> yeah, if you're used to driving BMs with that weighty feel, that that stable feel, you'll love this car. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good. One hundred percent, man. You will love it. Yeah. Well, of course, you haven't got the rear end. The rear end isn't going to play unless you're doing stupid speeds. But like the feel that it gives, like the feedback. Sorry. It's really like it's like you've got. 200 kg weights like it's strapped literally. around the bottom of the car or something because I know everybody on the channel they're like Ricky you love everything like I just love high, I just love performance cars like yeah I definitely got a soft spot for the Golf R left so you've got the upgraded Pedroza alloys uh, I think that's a must have option if you're gonna yeah the Golf R. I know they do the new facelift wheels the diamond cut ones yeah, yeah. I'm, not a fan. I'm not a fan either I'm but the thing is I'm really not a fan of the previous ones either I think the new stock wheels look better than the previous. If you know yeah, what I, mean. I know. I agree with that. But I think personally, but if I was, you've got to have these ones. Yeah, if I was specking a Golf R, I would definitely, definitely get them wheels. I think they look so good on any colour car as well, like yeah. black, blue, whatever colour you're getting. Um, the I, seating position is really supportive and they're comfortable as well, aren't they? The seats. Yeah, I love it. It's a nice car, man. It's a nice, it's a nice car, car, isn't it? Yeah. It is a nice car. And what's next for you then, so What's next for me? What I'm doing at the minute. I'll kind of change what I'm doing a little bit. It's still car related, um, but I'm doing 60 seconds video. So what I've done is I've, I've come up with a brand, a genius brand, done in 60 seconds, yeah? So it's more like they're, they're, they're 60 seconds long because they, they then suit Instagram as well as YouTube. So I'm doing 60 second car videos on Instagram and YouTube. So uh, I'm, I'm focusing on that at the minute because it gives me, I've got enough time in my life to just about squeeze that in. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really focused. Yeah, guys, on that. honestly, check out Calvin's work, man. Very, very underrated uh, YouTuber, in my opinion. I really like this car, and I can really feel uh, the difference between uh, the preface lift. Yeah. Personally, it looks way better from the exterior. Yeah, um, I it agree. feels faster, and it you're looks way better in the interior because of the digital. Feel inside yeah. is nice. Isn't I it? mean, overall, the drive doesn't feel massively different. I mean, the feedback from the wheel doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel it's more sharp. Just as good. Just as good. Um, but definitely extra poke. Uh, better interior. 
fills it closes the gap between um, the S3 it closes the gap the S3 does. you always had that bit more premium it still is a little more premium but this has got a nice premium feel to it isn't yeah it? definitely it always has but I mean when you compare it to the S3 the S3 is that bit more you know yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah this definitely could maybe be the more sensible option because it's cheaper than the S3 isn't it so yeah yeah it's cheaper than the S3 and it's I think it's a yeah, it's good value for money, isn't it? I'm really surprised at how good it is because I've it recently been driving a lot of M140s, M1, like you know, I drive all different cars. I drive the RS3, I drive a whole heap of different hatchbacks. But um, I don't know. I think I just love all hatchbacks. I just love what they all stand for. They all do different things. I believe that this is definitely the best all-rounder. If you need a car that's good at doing everything, don't do it the best. And I'm, everyone's probably heard me say this a million times, but it's definitely good at doing them all yeah it not literally, the best it, part, it, no no it's, it's the best all rounder in it it yeah. takes more boxes than any other one and it's it, quite exciting as well when you exciting. do want to go have a bit of fun in it it's, it does offer you the fun because that's the main thing that you want from these you know hyper hatches if you want to call them that yeah they're perfect daily drives but when you do want to go have a bit of fun you've got race mode um, you know everything is a bit more sporty a bit more agile you know yeah yeah so literally. it pleases your you know it satisfies you mm. i mean yeah after driving it Mind one myself, honestly, this is a perfect daily driver. It is, I know, even I me. With the roof, though, as oh, well. the roof. I'm I'm a, mine had a pan roof. Do you know what? I'm a, I'm a massive fan of panoramic roofs. That, that is an absolute must. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here just in case the battery dies. Uh, Calvin is really nice to um, actually finally do a video. Finally do something to get Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, like I've already mentioned, definitely check out Calvin's video. It'll be at the top of the description. And uh, yeah, as always, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm in the AC cooler than I ever was. I went from bubbling to a better buzz. Hey, check this cuz I did it with no airplay. Wild out in the lot, well that's hearsay. I'm just trying to do my thing, shine like a star. Skills in the place, better. You know who we are. Come night, that's Nate. You know Kate now.